Welcome everyone. I'm Alfred Lambert Weber and we're greatly privileged uh, today to be with the founder and director of the Institute of Christ Consciousness. Did I get that right? Yes. <laughs> Donna Din, Din Gillo. And, and um, uh, this is a, this is a, a weekly talk that occurs every other Sunday and we're rebroadcasting it. And if you can attend, I would urge you to do so. Uh, and Donna will speak to us uh, to summarize the talk and to tell you if you wish to participate, how you can do so. So Donna, over to you. Thank you, Alfred, and hello, everyone uh, watching this video today. If you've been following these videos, these are the transmissions that are coming from divine spiritual beings, distinct personalities who are here shepherding this world to attain higher states of consciousness in our social order. We are in a period of correcting many of the social problems that have stemmed from the long legacy and history of the Lucifer Rebellion. And there is a high degree of spiritual energy on the planet, which conveys truth, light into planetary mind to help us see what we have created here on this world and to make a choice whether or not we want to participate in these very insidious miscreations or turn our backs to that and change course and follow the divine plan of evolution. Now, if you've been following me, many of you know that I'm a very devoted, avid student of the Urantia book, this wonderful revelatory text that paints a very broad cosmic picture. And our planet in participating in a deviant form of evolution has suffered many, many social problems because of this. And in this period of correction, we are in a phase which you might call the reckoning phase where people are now becoming consciously aware of how their lives have either conformed to the divine plans of evolution or have devolved into what you might call um, discordant energies which breed cellular decay and death and create a whole host of mental and emotional problems. Now in this transmission from yesterday, the focus was on our uh, first focus, I should say, was on our father, Christ Michael. Now, Christ Michael was here as a living being, as Jesus, and he came here to assume full sovereignty of the universe that he created, the universe in which our planet resides, and he chose this world to come here because we had had so much damage because of the Lucifer rebellion. And in the first infusion uh, from yesterday, we were guided just to focus on receiving him and to let his love and his divine quality of goodness support us as more truth light shines on the miscreations that we have participated in. Some people willingly and some people unwillingly or unwittingly, I should say. So the endowment of the spiritual quality or value of goodness takes us into a higher morality where we begin to be, uh, respect one another with more love, compassion, and tolerance. And this is the quality that does breed what you might call the fraternity of all humanity. And to recognize that we are all equal in the eyes of our creator. 
and that we are all here to support our own and express our own divine life purpose that also um, assists and facilitates the divine plan for this world. And we are now getting back on track, but it is a long journey to help us uh, move into that higher evolutionary trajectory where we are actually building a social order that is based on divine principles and values. In the second part of the transmission from yesterday, what was being focused upon is this um, coordination of activities in divine justice. Now, when a planet is adjudicated because it has rebelled against the divine ways, what is occurring is that each individual is being given an opportunity to choose whether or not you want to participate with your own indwelling spirit and grow spiritually, or if you wish to stay beholden to these ways of self-centeredness, which breeds greed, conflict, and is the basis of all our social problems. We are now given an opportunity to participate in this divine justice that is outworking itself in our planetary consciousness system. The coordination of activities, to me, I believe what they are doing in this call is using human willingness for these changes to occur. We are the ones, we humans of this world, are the ones who will make these changes. Now, we do not do this alone. We have many helpers, some spiritual, um, some human like us from other worlds. And in yesterday's transmission, we were encouraged to focus on this coordination of activities that may be uh, a vast effort to bring this world back into the family of love, of which it was always a member. But we were quarantined from the rest of the universe in, due to the Lucifer rebellion, uh, because this planet was not allowed to infect uh, its uh, very deviant sophistries with the rest of the universe. Now the circuits are all opened. All the circuits that were quarantined, that had quarantined the planet are now open. So there is this massive outreach of a wide variety of dimensional personalities who are assisting us in our awakening and reckoning process. And in yesterday's transmission, we focused on this coordination of activities. So I wanted to give you some background information about what this call is and what we were doing. And so as you listen, stay focused in your heart. Stay out of the intellect or the questioning mind that's trying to figure out, oh, what's going on? What are they doing? What I can't see what's happening. Let that all go and feel that really deep human need for this divine justice activity to continue to be coordinated all through the circuits of this planet. And this will help them, the spiritual personalities and the off-planet personalities, bring in more of the solution, the spiritual solution we need to help us make these changes at a material and social, uh, social level. So before we uh, play the recording, I would just encourage you, if you'd like to be uh, a, come a part of this group, which meets on the second and fourth Sundays of the month at 12 p.m. Eastern, please email me at Donna at institutechristconsciousness.org and simply put subscribe planetary transformation call in the subject line. Or if you wish, you can join our mailing list and receive the notices for the planetary transformation call to participate live, uh, receive the recording links, and then re also receive a written transcript. And for those of you who are new to the ministry of the Institute of Christ Consciousness, please visit our website at institutechristconsciousness.org because there is a wealth of information about the services we provide to help you open up to your true spiritual potential 
where you can grow your soul and become more of the person our creator has designed you to become. So I'll leave it there and turn it over to you, Alfred. I hope you enjoy the experience. It's meaningful and it is uplifting at the same time. And I hope that uh, you'll join us on one of our upcoming calls. And the next one is, I believe, April 10th. Thank you very much. Thank you, Donna. And now uh, we're going to go to the, um, to the actual recording of the call. Christ Consciousness. And this is Donna D'Angelo, and I'll be transmitting our divine personalities today. So let us join in prayer as we center in the intention for our call today. Paradise creators, divine parents, magisterial son, and all of our helpers, we come into your presence now and we set that intention at our hearts to provide the energies of our minds, our souls, and our spirit to be offered into these circuits of planetary consciousness for more change to occur here. We seek the divine plans of your correction Father Michael, to be implemented here in the ways that you know we can achieve as your children. We thank you for fortifying us in that divine grace and that trajectory of divine will. We ask you to unify us as one in these circuits of mind, soul, and spirit that we may be unified in our focus and provide the willingness at the human level for these changes to be implemented. We are deeply grateful to be of service to our world at this time, and we thank you for your will being done now. May it be so. My children, you are so beloved. This is Michael, and I hold you in my embrace. Drink deeply in me as you begin your focus today. Allow my presence to embrace you holding you close, filling you with my love and the support of your mother and your universe brethren who are engaged today in this call to impart more spiritual vitality to this world. There is nothing you need to do other than to simply receive me. Allowing that connection that we share through the spirit of truth to engage in your being and center you in my presence. Receive me now, my beloved children. and let our relationship grow stronger.
I encourage you to stay close to me during this upcoming phase of planetary transformation. Our presence in you provides you with a steadiness of emotion, a type of equilibrium to keep you balanced as you witness more change come to this world. <clears throat> Many hearts are very fearful. And it is my great desire for my children to know me as their father and to experience my love. Some of your brothers and sisters <clears throat> are so spiritually blinded that they cannot perceive that there is something <clears throat> of great love within them of the relationship I have with each one of my children of this world. And yet the way is open to them. And because they know me not, I look to you to not only receive my love, but to hold that as a higher emotional and spiritual energy that you can help them find peace and steadiness in them as this world goes through this period of great reckoning. I say these words to fortify you and to inspire you into greater love and greater devoted service to your brothers and sisters. For many, this will be a very difficult time. For those of you who have been prepared, you will receive my peace, my comfort, my security as you walk through this path of transformation. Continue to receive me, strengthening yourselves in the bond of love we share. The world is awakening to more truth recognition. Part of this time of change is designed for this recognition of what has occurred here. And the truth will continue to be revealed for a time to come. And add to that 
is the expression of the divine value of goodness. To also feel that desire to express this quality and value of goodness in your life to your brothers and sisters. What does it mean to be good? To be loving and kind in the midst of witnessing great evil. Fortify yourselves upon this quality of goodness comes from your paradise creator father through me into you if it is helpful focus on the word meaning and value of goodness and allow me to share this quality with you now to render you more spiritually dynamic during this time. The recognition of truth illuminates human mind as to what is right and correct. The value of goodness is what truly heals and transforms that which is misaligned in Father's will to that of a higher quality. Continue to receive the goodness attribute of my being that you may be fortified in it now and demonstrate that more readily to your brothers and sisters. There's some people on the line that need to mute themselves, please. There's a lot of interference, so please mute yourself by pressing star six or using the microphone microphone icon at the bottom of your screen, please. Thank you. When you begin to experience judgment, anger, 
or any other type of negative feeling come to me. Share what you are experiencing and why you feel the way you do. And ask me for my perspective. And I will share with you something that will calm you, steady you, uplift you, fill you with greater understanding that you may return to a peaceful state of mind and body. Mm -hmm. This is all very important for you to remember and practice now. I am here today to fortify you in this quality of goodness. It is only up to you to receive it. So drink deeply and let it penetrate into your body. And fill you with my peace. There are thrilling times ahead of you, my children. Look to what you can do to support your brothers and sisters, to help them open their hearts to the greater spiritual reality. What joy you will experience when you see another person awaken and reckon what is in them. Come into this greater spiritual renewal that is available to them. Do you appreciate the value of what you can do to assist another during this time? It is both your privilege and your responsibility. But when you do this, call upon me and I will be there to fortify you, to provide you with the means by which you need to convey more love to your brothers and sisters. And in this way, together, we transform the world. So in our final moments together, before I turn you over to Manja Ronson, deepen your commitment to yourself, to your spiritual growth, to me, to your mother, to be a great lover devoting your life 
to helping your brothers and sisters become more of who they are. You have it in you. You only have to practice and master it. And you will. Take your time as you learn to engage in this manner. And many opportunities will be brought to you to demonstrate this and be, and be a great light unto others. I leave you in my peace, my children. May you grow a little bit more beautiful and gracious in the Father's love each day. Farewell. Michael's peace be upon you, my brethren. Greetings to each one today. This is Manjaranson. It is very helpful that Michael's presence continue to pervade you as we now shift your focus into the collective. You have collaborated with us for many years, bringing in certain spiritual energies and influences to help planetary mind heal from its insidious <coughs> adoption of the Luciferian agenda. Many people have been stimulated all around the globe to play their parts in this time of great correction. I am confident that many of you on this call are aware that you have roles to play in this great time of change. And we wish for you to grow in that awareness, to become more responsive and responsible to what has been given to you to achieve during this time. So as you begin to shift your focus into the collective, know that Michael's presence will continue to fortify you. And we now invite you to engage with these words. Coordination of activities in divine justice. Coordination of activities in divine justice. Coordination of activities in divine justice. As you visualize these words in your mind's eye, let them also extend from your hearts. And let them spiral around the globe in that counterclockwise rotation. There is a massive coordination effort of activities to be conducted as divine justice continues to make its way through this world system of consciousness. So 
some of you will be prompted to perform certain activities in this manner. But it is time for this coordination to unfold now throughout planetary mind. We have <clears throat> invited you to focus on the accountability dynamic that is part of this reckoning phase you are now in. And there is much activity to be conducted. Coordination, you might say, <clears throat> at the spirit, celestial, and human level to be achieved. So simply focus on these words and project them from your hearts as best you can as we engage in this intention all around the globe. I encourage you to do your best to stay focused in your heart and to keep your thoughts away from what does this mean, what is occurring, what will transpire. <laughs> out of your mind, but with real <clears throat> love in your heart to feel that need for this coordination of activities and divine justice to unfold now. What is underway in this coordination of activities is unprecedented in the universe of Nebadon. Your world contained in this universe home has played a pivotal role in the entire process of evolution for this particular part of all creation. It is time for Urantians to awaken and recognize their cosmic responsibility. And it will be very challenging for many people to accept that. You are not the only world in the whole creative design of life. This awareness will have very deep reverberations all throughout planetary mind. And it will, for many people, be a beacon of light and mercy to recognize your place in this great universe home in the family of love.
Let your hearts engage with this coordination of activities in divine justice. Leading this world to greater self-recognition of its place in the great family of love. One of the coordinated activities is to help people come into more self-accountability. This is directed not only to the ways in which you observe your life, but to help you in the recognition of the higher domains of your selfhood originating in the selfhood of the first source and center creator parent of all. You have a responsibility to the self that you were created to become over the long evolutionary trajectory of your ascension career. The first step of this material life is to awaken to your potential as a self-creator and the creative energies you have been given by spirit to master who you are and become a living expression of God within yourself. Your father, Michael, so magnificently demonstrated this during his human life. You can call on him at any time during your day and ask him to help you achieve this as well. Have you made this self-accountability the focus of your life? This may be a new consideration for you to take to heart. To consider within the way in which you think and conduct your life. But you have an accountability to this higher portrait of yourself that you are creating one step at a time. The presence of your spirit within is there to guide you, to help you create this beautiful, living portrait that adds to the fabric of life, this living expression of divine love that only you can reveal to the world. So as we continue to focus on this coordination of activities, Allow these energies of self-accountability to also move in you. Help you become aware of what it, is, what it is in you to achieve through your willingness to cooperate with the Spirit's 
guidance within you. For this self-accountability at this level will help your brothers and sisters also come into that remembrance and recognition of who they are as a spirit being of great potential. Do your best to hold this focus of opening to your higher self accountability and letting that move through this coordination of activities in divine justice. The world stands ready to receive a great truth. To perceive its rightful place in its universe home in the family of love. Many minds and hearts are being prepared in this coordination of activity in divine justice. But we also ask you to be patient as these changes and these energies are imparted. And await when the time is the most conducive for humanity to reckon and take accountability for what has transpired here. There is so much to consider as all of these energies are coordinated. And so we invite you to also feed on that wonderful spiritual quality of patience <clears throat> that you may remain in a patient and peaceful state of mind and heart. as these energies are coordinated <clears throat> all around the globe.
Let us now elevate this intention and focus to the paradise level. This level where all of the divine patterns of life are created by our loving creator deities. who hold this world in their love, light, and life. Let us all engage for a few moments in being thankful for this gift of love, light, and life. It is now bathing this world through the grace of these creators who have set forth the evolutionary plan of ascension and high achievement of a spiritual planetary culture. This world is on its way. So let your hearts be filled with gratitude as you thank these deity creators for their gifts and we will join you in that place of worship. Take a few moments to descend from the paradise level. Engage your focus at the Earth's core. While this is not a physical location that we engage, it is more of a spiritual dynamic seated in the core of the Earth of the planet's divine life purpose. Envision in your mind's eye the words Urantia's divine life purpose and ask it now to engage with this coordination of activities in divine justice. And we will move in this intention, making more connections in the circuits of mind and memory 
for this to function more effectively. Oh. My dear beloved brethren, do you recognize how integral you are to this planet's divine plan? In the coming days, pay close attention to the thoughts and feelings that are conveyed to you by the spirit within. Act upon your intuition. It is a great gift for you to develop. When you have questions, pose them in your mind. Clear your thoughts of any agendas and simply wait and receive the guidance. Let go of the chatter and din of your material culture. Fortify yourselves in spirit each day as much as you need to maintain your spiritual equilibrium, mental balance, and emotional clarity. And you will feel a surge of peace course through you, holding you steady in your Father Michael. This is a pivotal time in your planet's history and all efforts are being made to help the humans of this world engage at higher levels to impart the spiritual solutions needed for this world to continue on its path toward light and life. Do not underestimate your contribution, but become more dedicated to your own self-accountability that you may indeed express the greater purposes for which you have been here at this time to produce. And you will receive much help as you do this. Expanding your scope of outreach to your brothers and sisters. Mm. 
not merely by the words you speak, but by the love and peace you convey. That they may perceive this and seek what you have. And you will provide it in great measure to them. So allow these words to settle in as we continue to make more of the circuitry connections necessary. On behalf of all of the mighty helpers that have participated with you today, I thank you. Remember, it is not only your privilege to receive this endowment of grace and love, but it is your responsibility to extend this to others. And by doing this, you stay in that flow of life and love and light, which are the fundamental energies you need to support you and this world during this time. Grow and thrive in this more and more each day and come into greater accountability of who you are at the spiritual level that you may be the actual love that transforms this world. And here's where I leave you, my brethren, with deep gratitude and faith in your ability to be the healers of your world. Good day.